The World Economic Forum starts this week in Davos, where Klaus Schwab and his unelected bureaucrats will give centre stage to a virus that the elites are warning will kill 20 times more people than COVID. The WEF and the Bill Gates-funded World Health Organization are joining forces to prime disease X in their final push for the pandemic treaty, which will strip the nations of the world of their sovereignty and officially sign them up to the New World Order's global government. For those who've been paying attention, the emergence of disease X closely mirrors the shadowy origins of the COVID pandemic with Bill Gates and The Who holding tabletop exercises, the mainstream media disseminating fake news, and Klaus Schwab pontificating about casualties. The similarities are so uncanny that we have to stop and ask, is disease X the pandemic that will get everybody's attention that Bill Gates and his ex-wife gleefully warned us about? You know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That, you know, I'd say is, uh, will get attention this time. Mm -hmm. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the People's Voice Locals community to support the channel and gain access to exclusive and uncensored content. Whenever the global elite, world leaders, unelected global bodies and mainstream media begin singing from the same hymn sheet, we must tread very carefully, analyse everything they're saying and call them out on their fear-mongering and lies. Remember, the promulgation of fear is a control tactic designed to terrify the sheep into submission. Of course, Western WF infiltrated governments are fully on board with the rollout. In moves that mirror Fauci's deadly gain of function experiments, Britain's highly secure Porton Down facility, which specializes in chemical and biological warfare, is said to be experimenting with disease X. Here is the BBC with a classic example of fake news fear mongering. The British government has unveiled a new vaccine research facility where scientists are working to prevent future pandemics. It's located at Porton Down, a high security research facility best known for its work on chemical warfare. Experts are preparing for what is known as disease X or the next pandemic virus. Our health correspondent Dominic Hughes was given rare access to the facility. How is it even possible that there's already a vaccine for disease X? For those on Team Reality, the facts they're working on a vaccine for disease X in a chemical and biological weapons lab should tell you all you need to know. And the fact that the government-funded BBC was allowed access to this top-secret facility makes clear that this news report is nothing more than fake news propaganda, carefully crafted to mislead the masses. The delicate task of protecting the nation's health. This is one of the laboratories at Port and Down where scientists are analysing current threats, new variants of COVID, for example, and trying to identify new ones. Inside these purpose-built labs, more than 200 scientists working for the UK Health Security Agency are helping to develop and test vaccines against a range of diseases. It's vital work to keep us all safe. We've got in many respects the toughest um, job in the world, which is to protect health against infectious diseases and environmental hazards. And it is tough because we know that the, the risks of new and emerging infections, including those of pandemic potential, is increasing. For decades, scientists at Porton Down have been involved in medical research, as well as the work on chemical and biological warfare for which the centre is perhaps better known. Additional preparations for disease X have also taken place thanks to funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which helps the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations to invest millions in a startup with Gerata Thin Film Inc. to create under the tongue vaccine wafers for needle free vaccines. CIPI's mission is to fund the development of rapid response platforms to develop vaccines against disease X and develop mRNA vaccines that can be given to children and the unaware like candy. Now they've got the vaccine, they can roll out the virus. Make no mistake, plans have been in the works for years. How do we know? Because as usual, the elites have told us about their intentions in advance. It's called revelation of the method. A dark occult practice in which the elites subliminally broadcast their plans to humanity and then take the lack of resistance to be implied consent. The global elite have been meticulous in their planning for the rollout of disease X. We all know that COVID had a rehearsal within the tabletop exercise named Event 201 Pandemic Exercise. The exercise was conducted by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in partnership with the World Economic Forum back in 2019. Unsurprisingly, Disease X has also been rehearsed, this time at the John Hopkins Center for Health Security, which hosted the Clade X Pandemic Tabletop Exercise on May the 15th, 2018 in Washington, DC. 
At the Cladex event, NSA assembled a team of top advisors to discuss the mysterious illness, which they say will emerge first in Germany and Venezuela, leading to a massive loss of life in just 36 hours and economic collapse. We cannot let them get away with another pandemic. The stakes are too high. This is a battle for the future of humanity. Nothing more, nothing less. After this quick break, we'll explain what we can do to stop this pandemic in its tracks. But first, an important word from our sponsor. The globalist elite have admitted that they want to bankrupt us, and now they're making their move. The government have been given permission to print as much money as they want. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. The Biden regime claims that this has saved America's economy, but all they did is ensure the US dollar gets devalued even further. With the BRICS nations working together to create a new global reserve currency, the threats to the US dollar are just getting stronger. The only ones who aren't afraid are those who invested in gold with noble gold investments. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand recession, inflation, and just about all economic threats. Noble Gold Investments is here to help if you want to invest in gold. Click the link below this video to secure your wealth now and get a 24 karat quarter of an ounce gold standard coin for free. Noblegoldinvestments.com is the only gold company I trust. If Disease X is making absolutely no sense to you at all, then congratulations, you're in good company. Anybody who survived the COVID pandemic and came out the other side with their critical reasoning skills still intact is thinking the exact same thing you are. But with great knowledge comes great responsibility. As the people who've seen through the agenda of the elite, we have the responsibility to ensure they are held to account for their crimes. The elite understand that we are living in critical times and now they're making their move. According to the WEF, the public must cease and desist questioning what we're being told by the experts. Yes, the same experts who got everything completely, spectacularly, 100% wrong during the COVID pandemic. According to the WEF, if you dare to question the experts, this means you're a so-called conspiracy theorist, which they are now claiming is worse than being a terrorist. That's right. Anybody who promotes a different perception of reality or questions the authority of experts should be considered more dangerous than a terrorist in 2024. The global elite really are flexing their muscles in preparation for a high stakes lunge at humanity's throat. The WEF has been a proponent of the WHO's pandemic treaty with the goal of obtaining a legally binding agreement between the UN Health Agency's 194 member countries. A World Health Organization whistleblower has warned that the Global Pandemic Treaty is a ploy by the globalists to abolish national sovereignty and replace it with a one world government. Biden has already confirmed plans to sign the treaty, handing over US sovereignty and allowing the global elite to call the shots in America. Bill Gates' dream of death panels and euthanasia labs on every street corner is becoming a reality in Klaus Schwab's model society, the People's Republic of China. Preparing for the rollout of Disease X, the Chinese are assembling fleets of mobile crematoriums to incinerate bodies on street corners, as the world population, already heavily depopulated by COVID vaccines, is driven down even further. Three years ago, a video circulated where we heard billionaire eugenicist Bill Gates describe his final solution for humanity. And then the final solution. And then the final solution. Uh, which is a year to two years off is the vaccine. So we've got to mm -hmm. go full speed ahead on all three fronts. Uh, just to head off the conspiracy theorists. Uh, just to head off the conspiracy theorists. Maybe we shouldn't call the vaccine the final solution. Maybe just the Good best point. solution. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The uh, the return to normal solution. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Given what we've learned from the COVID pandemic, we can assume that preparations for disease X have been completed over the last few years, since at least 2018 and Clade X. And Bill Gates is currently excited to see his final solution come to fruition. Are you going to join the fight against the global elite's plan for total global domination? Here at The People's Voice, we are determined to continue exposing the crimes of the globalist elites, but we need your help. Subscribe to the channel, 
spread this video far and wide, and join the People's Voice Locals community for exclusive and uncensored content. I hope to see you there.